Hi, and welcome to another Jarvis Walker Brands fishing tip. Today we're going to show you how to catch fish using reels with a free spooling second drag. We've got a very inexpensive setup. The Rovex Alliance graphite composite rod with a Rovex Nitrium free spooler reel. We've chosen graphite composite because it's lighter and more responsive, so it's easier to cast and then you'll also be able to feel those bites. The composite design is more robust and more forgiving than the full graphite rods, so it's a good midpoint to start with before moving on to the full graphite rods. The bait we're going to use are freshly pumped yabbies. They're a great bait and easy to get, so let's show you how. As with all fishing, make sure you check the regulations to see if you can actually take bait from there and how much you're allowed to take. So, head to your local bait store, grab a pump, You'll need a sieve as well. We've just taken a pool noodle and cable tied it to the edge just for convenience. Tie it off to your shorts and make sure you've got your Jarvis Walker bait bucket ready. You'll see holes like this all over the sandbar. That's a good indication that yabbies live there. What you want to do is put the mouth of your pump over that hole, pump it up, squirt it into your sieve, repeat that two or three times getting deeper and deeper in the same hole. Yeah, it's a good start. A few more of them and we'll be ready to fish. As you can see, it gets a bit crowded in there. So what I like to do is transfer them to a bucket with some clean water. Platinum Marine do a great fold-up bucket. You'll be fishing in no time. So take your yabby, twist, throw out a bit of burley, take your hook, thread it through from the tail, Feed it through to expose the hook. Then take the top part of the abbey, stick it through the carpus there, careful not to stick yourself with the end of the hook, and just so you have a little bit of the hook protruding from the head. This way you've got a nice ball of yabby for the fish to take onto, rather than just a dangly bit back there. Hopefully they grab the whole yabby and take it away with them. Today we're using a running sinker rig. Basically, your sinker runs freely on our six pound line to a swivel, then we have four pound leader to a number four bait holder hook. For small estuary fish, size zero sinkers. Size eight black crane swivel. The Rovex fluorocarbon four pound leader. Tsunami size four bait holder hooks. So casting is the same as any other spin reel. Finger on the line, open the bail, and then you get both hands on the rod, give it a good sharp flick. Once the line's out, close your bail arm off and engage the free spool. To make adjustments to your free spooler drag, the small disc at the back, you turn it clockwise to add more tension or anti-clockwise to release the tension. The lever engages or disengages your free spool. When the free spooler lever is engaged, you can also disengage it by turning the handle. So now, you can see the bite. And that's it, you're on. Looks like we've got a nice brim. And there we have, lovely sized brim. Time to let him go. And then you engage your hook and away you go. Lovely little whiting. There you go. 
You've seen how easy it is to catch fish with the Nitrium Free Spooler Reel. For more fishing tips or any information on Rovex Tackle, jump on the website rovex.com.au.